Now it's been a little while since I did a video uh, update on the printer. I uh, made a few changes. This is actually a test carriage for the new printer that my son and I will be building in the future. Um, this carriage will probably go on that. Although if this works out alright, I may just leave it on here for a while. Um, this one has the dual fans. It's a single extruder, but I've kind of made this in a quick disconnect way. So I can swap out hot ends real easily if I want to put a different size nozzle without having to take the whole hot end apart. I just uh, take these two screws out, unsnap the fan, uh, take this screw out and the whole nozzle will come out and on the wiring harness I can put a plug to do a quick disconnect plug if I want uh, if I go that route probably will reprint this piece so this this piece will actually have uh, a wire loop on it or in reality the wire loop could go underneath the screw I suppose um, but I kind of like the idea of this was actually part of this so I don't know, it's just something different to try. I uh, printed this carriage on my son's last night uh, on his printer. But um, yeah, it, it seems like it's going to be alright. Uh, I like playing with new designs and different ideas. Uh, this is the first print with this design. Uh, would appear to be okay. I did have to change the position of these. I had these down here before, but the uh, carriage height changed on this as I wasn't paying attention and I didn't have enough travel with these down here. Um, I could always reprint another one of these later with the carriage down lower. This this is uh, a new one to replace this that is actually going to move both fans down a little and inward so they blow more directly on the, the nozzle so both of these fans will go down. Uh, I think I'm going down like six millimeters and in two millimeters which you put it just under the nozzle and if I have trouble with the nozzle clearing the table, which I don't think I will, I can always angle the bottom of the nozzle to clear it. That way I'm not uh, changing the temperature on the hot end. But anyway, there's a, an update. Just playing around. This one has a zip tie thing here to hold for the cooling fans. These cooling fans stay behind as well as the actual hot end cooling fan. Now I, I may make the cooling fan part of the bracket on a version in the future and this will actually, fan will be turned around and mounted lower and I have to put spacer between the back plane and here there's already one in there to clear the hardware but it would move it out a little bit further there's plenty of room to come forward on the machine to clear the front door that, that will eventually be on here uh, right now these fans if they come over they just barely touch on here it shortens my bed travel a hair but they need to come out about another five millimeters but if I move it out, say, another 20 and I have room to do that, um, there should be enough room to put the cooling fan on the back side. Uh, and as a fact, I have found a footprint for a fan that uses these 50 millimeter radial fans that hook up to the E3D V6 hot end. So that may be a, a, a something to try to. Anyway, there's just a, an update. Um, just playing around and the machine is printing and printing well. This is the first print head with this new design printing another one 
that's just slightly modified. But as you can see, it's printing quite well. Thanks for watching the update, and we'll post more later.